Synthesis, live trace elements, ancient medicine's longevity effect for the modern world. Everyone who's attained maturity wants to be healthy and stay young. But in our complex modern world, people are often unable to master a healthy lifestyle before the age of 50. According to biblical sources, the ancient patriarchs lived for over 900 years. Abraham was said to have lived for 175 years. Isaac 180 years and his son Jacob reached 147 years and they remained healthy. Abraham fathered Isaac when he was 100. Moses was 120 years old when he died yet his eyes were not weak nor his strength gone. Deuteronomy chapter 34 verse 7 Scientists have determined that humans today have the potential to live to at least 140. However, the average person lives to about 80. And they are no longer youthful or healthy at this age. Medicine has achieved tremendous breakthroughs, but modern drugs and procedures treat disease and aren't designed to prolong youth. So the issue of how to preserve health and youth has come to the fore. Biologically active additives have recently become popular and the search for the source of health and youth continues. These days, dietary supplements are using more than just a combination of herbs and various drugs. Relatively recently, it became clear to scientists that something else was needed, trace elements. These are simple elements from the periodic table, zinc, chromium, iron, selenium and many others. The concentrations of these elements in our bodies are minuscule, but they nevertheless play a key role in human biochemistry. It was discovered that when these elements are deficient, serious diseases could ensue. Therefore, today, a quarter of all dietary supplements are designed to replenish the supply of trace elements in the human body. However, things are not quite so simple. Trace elements offered to consumers in dietary supplements are unsatisfactory. They're very weak and don't produce the desired effect. So it's worth reviewing ancient Chinese and Indian medicine. In their traditions, great attention was paid to trace elements, which were the basis for youth serums in ancient medicinal recipes. And these produced a very positive effect. Joseph Ho, a leading acupuncturist, writes in his book Healthy Longevity Techniques, According to Chinese medical treatises, a doctor named Tse'e Wengse was able to live to the age of 300 during the Qing dynasty. Ge Yule lived to the age of 280 at the end of the Han dynasty. The Taoist monk Hui Zhao lived for 290 years. And Lo Ji Chang'e lived for 180 years. According to the Chinese medical encyclopedia, Han In Se lived for 180 years during the Tang dynasty. The Taoist master, Li Tsing Wan, lived for 250 years. Trace elements formed the basis of preparations in ancient Taoist medicine in China, and chemistry was considered to be a way of preserving youth. Moreover, the chemistry of that era in China can be defined as the science of longevity. Various longevity pills were largely composed of chemical elements, silver, iron, gold, arsenic and others. However, the chemical elements themselves were not the main thing. So what was the ancient physician's secret? The fact is, elements that underwent numerous special melting and purification stages were used in addition to simple chemical elements. As a result, some chemical elements were obtained from others. Synthesized elements. That was the secret of ancient medicine. The technique was carefully guarded even from members of the imperial court. Masters of Taoist medicine obtained trace elements for their youth serums and longevity pills through transformation. According to Chinese sources, this knowledge came from centuries-old traditions, such as acupuncture. Taoist masters were the collectors and keepers of these traditions. If you evaluate how ancient Chinese medicine obtained trace elements, you'll find some extraordinary equivalents in the natural world. Approximately the same processes occur in the depths of volcanoes. Candidate of Geological and Mineralogical Sciences, Vladimir Krivitsky, 
describes this natural mechanism in his book, Paradoxes of the Transmutation and Development of the Earth, Evidence from Non-Obvious Sources. This, according to Kravitsky, is the transformation of some chemical elements by others, as a result of the disassociation of chemical elements in the depths of volcanoes. This process is also called cold nuclear fusion, since it takes place at relatively low temperatures. What was the outcome? The products of volcanic eruptions function as powerful biogenic triggers in the surrounding nature. Insignificant amounts of trace elements from the depths of volcanoes obtained from cold fusion transform the surrounding territory, rendering it the most fertile in the world. Trees grown in such soil produce the most delicious fruit. It's all down to live trace elements. Therefore, when we talk about trace elements for humans, we should discuss those that have a powerful biogenic potential. Iron, chrome and silver are dead fossil elements. But what is needed are living and synthesized elements as recommended by Taoist masters. This is what nature tells us when we look at the example of volcanic soils. Only these elements possess the energy necessary to stimulate life processes. In the 2000s, Adaminka, Urotskoyeva, Yasuhiro Iwamura and other scientists were able to transform or synthesize elements in experiments, and so the possibility of such transformations was proven. The SynthesTech project carried out numerous experiments to synthesize valuable elements, and a method was developed to produce certain elements relatively efficiently. V. A. Karabanov, SynthesTech's project manager, noted, We conducted a large number of experiments and learned how to obtain relatively effective quantities of another element from the matrix of a source element. We're talking about a small amount, about grams per kilogram of the matrix. It may seem like this is a very small quantity, but you should remember that these are extremely unusual elements. Moreover, the process of synthesis is very expensive. Theorists still have to make all this work within the confines of modern science. The fact that obtained elements had a significant biogenic effect was confirmed in experiments on plants. Back in the early 2000s, physicists did experiments to transform chemical elements. Studies of biogenic activity in mice were conducted at the same time, and amazing results were obtained. A sharp increase in the number of stem cells in the mice was noted, and a paper was published on the topic. It's well known that stem cells are the foundation of youth. The number of elements that can be synthesized using SynthesTech technology is small, but it allows these trace elements to be supplemented in humans. This process is being developed with a view to producing dietary supplements with trace elements under the Synthesite brand. Synthesite trace elements are simple chemical elements obtained by special electromagnetic processing from a matrix consisting of a different main element. This is similar to what occurs in volcanoes. Synthesite consists of synthesized trace elements. Although the Taoist transformation recipes were doubtless slightly different, in general they're the same synthesized elements. That's to say, elements with powerful biogenic potential. Synthesite's biologically active elements are being prepared for mass production. After the product is released to market, it will be sent to recipients. If you'd like to know more about trace elements found in Synthesite, please visit our website.